Um, the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is going to be on the um, mobile app. So if you want to start OES mobile app, uh, what you need to do is you must have gone to the app store and <clears throat> you must have actually, okay, let me show you how to go to the app store and get that, get that done. You come to the app store here and you type in type in OES, OES teaching conference room. when you type that <clears throat> you're gonna see it here if you select this you see it's already installed on this system so that's the OES teaching conference room. I don't have to install it all I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna open it up now so this is it is open now so now on this OES teaching conferencing if you want to do video conferencing right away this is what you can do OES has a video conferencing attached to it I mean we've built a video conferencing system that you can do um, meet Shola this is just the classroom the classroom is Shola meet Shola and that means the teacher the teacher username on OES website is also going to be meet Shola and once you say connect automatically you meet the, the student the student in the classroom so um but i'm going to be leaving this i'm going to be cutting this short once it logs in so that i want you to just see that we're going to be connecting to the classroom once it connects see i'm already all i just need to join i'm joining with akin so um, i'm going to take this off i'm going to go back um that's just the video conferencing on the on the app so aside that you can come to the library you can go to the library and this is all working this is functional this is uh, uh working and it's just to mean we just need sales we just need marketing what we need money for is actually marketing you know if i say i want to do grade five uh general mathematics all i just need to do is to do my search and it's going to bring out a book from the a library uh interface it's going to bring out the book for us so that it can be adopted um i think the internet there's there's still you know the what's it called the uh the book picture that's supposed to show here you can see the link but we'll, uh, i'm still going to go back then that's the book i can just read the book right away so i'll go back um because i'm just showing you the all the all the uh, functionalities of the products so now live radio live radio there we stop the radio because we're in training course so we stop the radio for now but we can actually do live interview on this we can do live radio on this we have a server in which it is connected to so uh, i'll just go in there i'll just quickly take us in there so you can see local live radio or you know the online radio but we have the online radio functional so i'll go back also um now uh, if we do exit we'll go out of the application fully now if you want to now see what the app the oes app is we go to the login the login will take you to the oes app directly and this has the same thing uh, this the same functionalities it's what you experience here, which I'm still going to show you on the web. It's what you experience here. You have to log in so before you can start using this. And this is another video. This is going to be another video entirely. But let me just quickly take you through the snapshot. And this is functional. And everything you are doing here, everything you are doing on the app connects with, uh, with, uh, with the mobile app. Or connect with the online app, the web app also. So the QR scan, we'll go, quickly go through the QR scan area. This is the mobile, uh, this is the uh, machine language integration, the AI integrate, integrated into the app. So uh, the, the username and the password that you have here is the username that you have created on the web, that you have created, I mean, that the school has given to you as an administrator or as a student or as a user or as a user. So I'm going to just log in as one of the admin user um, so that you can see the functionality of what you can do with the app. 
um, salt So we've logged in into the um, <clears throat> OES mobile hub. So um, what I'm going to be clicking on is now what instances can we use in, in what instances? The username of the the name of the person that logs in is the minister staff. That means this can be used for the ministry also, as well as any other, uh, admin person. Yes. Let me open back this. Okay. Okay, so as I was saying the other time, I was meant to do a screenshot. Uh, to show you what how to use the the mobile uh, um, mobile machine language which is the QR code detector for the security so I'm just gonna log in I've already logged in so I'm gonna do a screen I'm gonna you know QR scan this or uh, this uh, uh, QR code that's been given to students you know and that's the only pass that's a parent can use to pick his own child whenever it's given to him on a daily basis. That means the school becomes a smart school. So I just done it, and all these things will be asked from the person who's coming to pick the child, and this will be shown to the, you know, this will be shown to the uh, to the security person. So let me quickly go through, go over the whole year's interface that is actually on it. Let me say no. Let me see more. Let me go back to the main uh, menu. So I'm going to click on login. So I'm going to log in with the same username and password that I've just used to log in for the QR code. Uh, this is the real, this is where the learning management is placed. The learning management is both the, uh, it's not just any learning management. It's a combination of four different or five different areas. We have the data analytics, we have the learning management, which has to do with classroom management. And you see, when you get in, you have the uh, you have the performance management, uh, you have the stakeholders relationship management, in which part of it that we are interfacing with the QR code that we just showed you. Uh, so uh, let me just go in this inside this uh, M O E. Let's how to select I'm not a robot and I'm going to sign in once I sign in you now see the full learning management and everything is functional this does not even stop here it has what we call OER OER is online educational uh, resources like it, Coursera this is a new thing that we just added to it alongside with the machine language or uh, the artificial intelligence that I was talking about so this is logging in and uh, once it logs in I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and you I would like to show you through this via the video uh, via the screen capturing of the product showcase on the uh, on the mob on the laptop on the laptop so um, I'm just waiting for it to connect let me just click on it again so that uh, it can just come we're gonna log in now so we've logged in so I'm gonna pause this here right now thank you